In this video, we're going to be going from this to this. Plus, our cat loves unboxing days. This is my wife's current home office desk setup, and it's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Does this even count as a stand-up desk? She's a therapist and has recently started her own practice where she will be seeing clients remotely in this makeshift office. It gets a lot of natural light from the windows, but she likes using her ring light when talking to clients and when putting on makeup. So we'll try and keep that in the setup. She also works from her 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro and uses her iPad to take notes. The goal is to give her a massive desk setup upgrade on a budget that is both functional and caters to her unique needs. As you can tell from what she's attempted to put together, she likes to stand more than sit while she works on the computer. The reason for that is that she has a torn labrum on her hip that hurts if she sits for too long. I actually found her this focal upright locust seat on Facebook Marketplace a while ago and she loves it, as it keeps her somewhere between sitting and standing while tightening her core. This means the first upgrade was going to be a proper standing desk. Since we've never owned one before and didn't want to overspend right away, we decided to buy one of the cheapest ones we could find on Amazon that had good reviews. We got the Fazebo Adjustable Electric Standing Desk for around $290. Putting it together took me a couple of hours as it was my first time building a standing desk, but it was pretty straightforward and came with some of the tools required. If you've put together IKEA furniture, this is pretty much the same thing except for the motor on the legs. One thing to note about cheaper standing desks is that the tabletop will often come in two pieces instead of one. This is how they save money on space and shipping costs. Another cool thing about this desk was that it came with optional caster wheels, which was great for my wife's setup as it wasn't going to be its permanent location. It also came with a built-in desk shelf along with these fabric drawers that can go into the storage nooks on the desk. Once plugged in, the desk can be adjusted up or down with the keypad controller to a maximum height of 46 inches. It also has four memory buttons that will allow for presets of your desired heights. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of this stand-up desk. It was surprisingly sturdy and didn't have much wobble, which was a concern I had because of the two-piece tabletop. There is just so much functionality packed into this desk. You get great product design at a great price. Even our cat Leo was impressed. The one big con to mention is that the color she picked didn't exactly look like what was represented in the pictures. It was a lot more orange than expected. So make sure to look at real review photos or videos before choosing a color. The next upgrade was a desk setup staple. For remote work, having the extra real estate from a second monitor is essential. And since she's not a PC gamer and is only using her setup for work, this Sansui 27-inch IPS HD monitor was a steal at just over $100. As I pulled it out of the box, I noticed it was very light and extremely thin. It comes with an HDMI port, a display port, and a USB-C port, which is what we were going to use to connect it to her laptop. The base was simple to put together and snap into the monitor. It was also a solid weight and overall kept things very stable. Once connected, it offered a crisp 1080p resolution at 100Hz and even has built-in speakers which is not bad for the price. This thing is super thin. Just look at it compared to my iPhone 12 Pro. Moving on to another screen my wife likes to use, her iPad. We went with a super cheap tablet holder, the Omaton Adjustable Tablet Stand, coming in at less than $20. At this price point, you're not getting anything too fancy, but it has a simple yet modern look and is made of reinforced aluminum. The rubber grips will also ensure that your tablet stays in place. This will let my wife check her iPad and grab it when she needs it to take notes or take it on the go. Even though it's light, it seems more than capable to get the job done. This next accessory is another stand, but this time it's for a laptop. The Soundance adjustable laptop stand comes in at about $20 and man, this thing is heavy. Seriously, this can do some damage, but not to your laptop. Even adjusting the different pivot points is a struggle at first but the stability is amazing. It's got rubber grips to avoid any sliding and has a vented design that is minimal and modern. Overall, it's a great product for the price. Now, my wife loves to save money where she can, so we figured we'd test out one of the cheapest wireless keyboards we could find. Check out the Omaton Ultra Slim Bluetooth keyboard for about $16. This thing is light. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I can snap this thing very easily. 
This is the minimal 70% keyboard size. The design is nice at least and matches the look my wife is going for. Do keep in mind that at this price point with wireless keyboards, you're looking at batteries as the main power source. So be prepared to swap those out every few months. Hey, as long as it works, it should be fine. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more modern home ideal setup content coming your way. Keeping in line with the theme of saving money, we grabbed a matching white mouse for around $10. This is the TechNet wireless mouse in white. For the price, the ergonomics of how it contours to your hand are really impressive. And it slides perfectly fine on a mouse pad. But also because of this price point, you're gonna need batteries every few months. In the battery compartment is also where you'll find the USB receiver is stored. You simply plug it into your computer and you should be good to go. I really wanted my wife to get a Logitech MX Master 3S, but she wouldn't budge. Maybe next time. Both the keyboard and mouse are going to need a nice place to sit on. So we purchased this Fire V extended gaming desk mat for that reason for about $10. This desk mat is made of felt, which feels really cozy to the touch and offers three different shades of gray. We went with the light gray. It's also got non-slip particles in the back, which is a must for desk mats. Now, every desk setup should have an accessory that charges most of your commonly used devices. In this case, my wife's iPhone, her Apple Watch, and her AirPods. We went with this 3-in-1 charging station for $30. And while it feels fairly cheap and light, it seems like it'll get the job done. This one only charges devices with lightning ports, so do keep that in mind. Keeping in mind the unique needs of her setup, my wife wanted to throw something in that would keep her active while at her desk. She chose a stamina in motion, compact seated elliptical for just over $100. It's fairly heavy coming in at 24 pounds while being able to support up to 250 pounds. Putting it together was super easy. This compact elliptical allows you to use it while both sitting, standing, and even has a control knob that lets you adjust the resistance. You can even download an app that will guide you through some workouts. At this point, it was finally time to start putting everything together and in its place. I asked my wife how she normally works and started testing out different layouts for her displays, ultimately deciding to keep her monitor in the middle with her laptop on the right and iPad on the left. I then brought in her ring light on its stand behind the monitor to give her the lighting she prefers. Then I played around with some of her other personal items she keeps handy to see if I could come up with some spots that wouldn't get in the way of her working. As I brought in her favorite chair and tested it out along with the pedals, I realized there was something I didn't like. The ring light was on its own stand, and besides not looking good, it was taking up room that wouldn't allow her to push her chair base all the way in without messing with it. So I decided we would mount the ring light to the desk itself. For this, I ordered these C-clamp desk mounts which came in a pack of two for under $40. That way, one of the clamps will be mine for me to use on my desk setup as well. They are made of an aluminum alloy and come with a couple of quarter inch thread accessories that make them easy to use with other devices. These C-clamp mounts reach an adjustable length of up to 25.5 inches, and the C-clamps themselves are adjustable too, which came in handy as this desk has a built-in desk shelf that adds to the thickness in the back. Once mounted, I simply placed the ring light on it, and just like that, the base was no longer required. Now that everything was mostly figured out, it was time for the not-so-fun part of every desk setup, the cable management. We ordered this monoprice under-the-desk cable tray for under $20 and this white metal eight outlet power strip for under $30. Attaching the tray this time was way easier thanks to having a standing desk. I simply raised it to its maximum height to make the installation a lot more comfortable. I then slid the power strip into the tray and began plugging everything in one by one. Once most things were connected and sorted, I began tidying up the cables with some Velcro reusable zip ties. Since I'm expecting my wife to make more upgrades to her setup in the future, I didn't go overboard here. It was finally time to add the last two items to her setup, and most likely the most essential items for her business. We got a combo deal that came with both the Logitech C922X HD webcam and the Yeti USB mic. Each come at around $100 normally. An important tip for you guys here though, while you may be tempted to purchase the most expensive 4K webcam on the market, remember that depending on the streaming service you'll be using, people may not even be able to see the entire 4K resolution. A lot of sites have a limit of up to 1080p or 720p resolution for video conferencing. This could save you like $200. The Logitech C922X is more than capable with its professional HD webcam with a nice color range, an accurate autofocus, and has two built-in mics to capture your voice for your calls. Setting it up with the software was a breeze, and gives you a ton of options for both the video and audio of your streams. 
The Yeti USB mic is another product that's been around forever and great for capturing crisp audio with multiple different settings. It used to be huge back when it came out, but even today, it's a huge step up from your webcam or laptop's microphones. Since it came with a combo, we figured we'd give it a try. The setup transformation was now complete. My wife now has a more professional looking desk setup that is both highly functional and has a cozy aesthetic that will translate onto the therapy sessions that she will provide to her clients. The best part is that we did this on a fairly modest budget of under $1,000 for all these upgrades. It really transformed her space. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some ideas on upgrading your ideal desk setups with affordable products. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any products that you would have chosen instead or other ideas you recommend? Let us know down in the comments. I've got links to all these products down in the video description below. These are affiliate links that give me a small commission at no added cost to you. Want to see what upgrades I've been making to my own desk setup? Check out this video here.